Hello friends, today we're going to be talking about um, how to unpack our violins and the parts of the violin. So, I've got my violin here on a chair. Um, it's super important that you unpack on a flat surface, okay? So like a chair, um, the table, the floor, um, something flat and that you're not like putting it in your arms like this or in the air, okay? Because then it's going to be super easy um, to drop it, which definitely is not what we want, okay? Remember, we have to be super careful with our violins. So, I undid this thing. It's just like a little Velcro thing. And then I'm going to unzip two zippers on the front. There's my violin. I have two bows in here, but you'll probably only have one. <laughs> okay, so the definitely getting the bow out is the most difficult. So you see how there's like a little um, lock there at the bottom? All you have to do is turn it and slide your bow out, okay? So let's talk about the parts of the bow. So this is called the bow, not the stick, okay? <laughs> um, this part at the very bottom, this is called the frog, just like the animal, right? I even had some students say this is like the eye of the frog, which I think is really funny. Um, so if you wanna call it that, you can. I usually just call it the button. This is the screw. So something very important is that you're going to need to tighten and untighten, tighten and loosen your bow. Um, so, before you put it back in, you're going to go lefty-loosey, before you put it back in your case. That's to loosen it. You see how my hair got looser and got closer to the stick? And then you're going to go righty-tighty and tighten it when you get ready to play. So you want to tighten it so that it's, um, you know, the hair is a little bit of like pushback, but you definitely don't want to tighten it so much that your um, stick as straight or even curved out the other way. You want it to be curved a little bit inward like that. So not like this. That's bad. It's bad for the bow and it's bad for the hair, okay? I'm just going to loosen it. Awesome. Okay. And if this happens and you loosen it too much, let me show you something cool. Don't freak out. All you have to do is put it back in and then just put the screw back in and tighten it. Yeah, it goes fine. So, what's this called? Frog. And this part is the stick, right? This is the horse hair. Yes, it is made out of actual horse hair, okay? And it's important that you don't really touch it um, too much because then the oil from your fingers is going to get on the horse hair and you're going to have to change your hair. I do recommend changing your hair, like going and getting it um, done at a shop maybe like every six months um, just so your hair is fresh and you're sounding as best as you can, right? And this is the tip. So to recap, frog screw, stick, hair, horse hair, don't touch it, and tip. Before you put your bow back in, you're going to give it a loosen. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. I always recommend putting the hair down. As you can see, my hair on the top bow is up. That's only because it literally wouldn't fit in the case if I put it down, so. Um, Slide the bow in like that. The frog is by the um, the lock, and then lock it back up to look something like that. Doesn't really matter um, like which lock you put it on. Let's talk about the violin, the parts of the violin. So, it's your violin. Um, this part down here, this is called the chin rest, okay? That's where I put my chin when I'm playing my violin. Um, this is called the tailpiece. It's at the bottom of the violin, right? 
These are the fine tuners, and this is how um, you're gonna tune your violin, which we will talk about in another video. Um, yeah, fine tuners. These are called the F holes, or sound holes, if you prefer. Um, this is the bridge. These are the strings, obviously. And the order of the strings is E is the highest, A is right next to it, D, and then G is the lowest one. So E, A, D, G. E, A, D, G. Okay, and then we have the fingerboard. All right, this is where I put my fingers. Um, then we have the pegs. These are also used to tune your violin. I would recommend not really touching them um, unless your violin is super, super out of tune, then you, then you have to. Um, and then this is the scroll. Okay? And if you take a look inside your violin, I don't know if I'll be able to show you on camera. You see that little hole in there? That's called the sound post, okay? And that's what basically holds the whole violin together, that little tiny pole. Um, so if you ever hear like a rattling inside your violin, check and see if the sound post fell because um, that's not good and you need to go get it fixed. All right, so to recap, chin rest, tailpiece, fine tuners, F holes, bridge, strings, fingerboard, um, pegs and scroll and the strings are E, A, D, and G. Um, yeah, so that's about it for the parts of the violin. Um, so another thing you're gonna need is a shoulder rest of some sort. Um, if you just go on like Char Music, that's my favorite like online music store, I'm sure you can find um, a lot of options. I think the Viva ones are really good. Um, the Kuhn ones are really good. There's a lot of different kinds and honestly you're just gonna have to try them and see what you like best because um, that's very personal. Um, you, you can of course try playing without a shoulder rest. I think that's way more difficult but if that's what you want then go for it. <laughs> I, I do think that's a lot more difficult and I do recommend having a shoulder rest at least at the beginning. You can also get like a sponge from from Char and I think those are pretty comfortable and that's usually what I start my students on. Um, it's just a regular sponge unless they already have like a shoulder rest which is totally fine. Um, but yeah, so let's finish packing up our violin. Just zip it up. And always remember to put your violin with the straps down and the pocket up. Okay, we don't want to put it upside down like that because then again, we, ri we run the risk of breaking it, right? So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I really hope you'll like and subscribe. Um, if there's anything else that you guys want to see, leave me a comment and let me know.